In my previous video on ESD ERPCS3 HDD and disk games, the RPCS3 and the PSN and PS3 games folders were all on the desktop, we only created the game's shortcuts, pasted into ROMs underscore all folder in ESDE. In this video, we will be moving the games folders into RPCS3 slash games folder. Whoa, whoa. Here I come, here I come. Double click RPCS3 folder. Double click on games folder. Select both games from desktop. Drag and drop into RPCS3 games folder. Open RPCS3 emulator. Click on File menu. Select Install Packages slash Wraps slash Adats menu. Double click RPCS3 folder. Double click on Games folder. Select both package and wrap files. And click Open. Click OK. Close RPCS3 emulator. Double click ESDE folder. Double click Emulators folder. Drag and drop RPCS3 folder here. I have already created a shortcut to RPCS3. So that we don't have to open the file location every time. Shortcuts will make it easier to open RPCS3 emulator. Open RPCS3 emulator. Right click on a game. Go to Manage Game. Select Create Desktop Shortcut. Do the same thing to all other games. In my case I only have two games for this demo. Click OK. Close RPCS3 emulator. Double click ESDE folder. Double click ROMs underscore all folder. Find PS3 folder and double click to open the folder. Drag and drop the shortcuts here. Open ESDE. Press Enter on Change ROM directory. Press Backspace one time, then Enter underscore all in caps and press Enter. Click OK. Quit ESDE. Reopen ESDE. Our two games are now listed under PS3. Let's scrape some artworks. In main menu, go to Scraper. Under Scrape these systems, press Enter to check the system we want to scrape. Go back and select Start. Wait for it to finish. Click OK. In the main menu select UI Settings and press Enter. Select Theme Downloader. I have already installed CoinOps Theme. Go back to UI Settings. Go to Theme and select one of the themes listed. Exit from Main Menu. Now our UI is looking better than before. Let's launch a game. We get this error. Go back to Main Menu. Other Settings. Alternative Emulators. Press Enter. Then choose the first setting that says Shortcut Standalone Default. Press Backspace a few times until the menu disappear. Now let's launch the game again. The game is loading successfully. Games usually takes a while to load for first launch. It will be faster subsequently. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, gives it a thumbs up.